in this video i am going to present you one more important topic activize and passivize it is given in all the competitive exams i am going to explain you what is a wise what is an activize and passivize what are the rules of conversion from activize to passivize and uh, some exercises first of all we have to know what is wise the sentence structure in english language is subject plus verb plus object you have to know about these three what is subject what is verb what is an object whereas in telugu language the structure of the sentence is subject plus object plus verb nenu annam tinnanu nenu atanini kottanu subject plus object plus verb but in english it is subject verb plus object rama killed ravana very famous example in active as and passive as okay then what is a subject do you know what is the meaning of subject subject means doer of the action subject means doer of the action in telugu we can say karta evaraithe oka pani ni nirvartistharo atarini subject antam and verb verb means action a work kriya okay and object the subject means doer of the action and the object means a receiver of the action a receiver of the result of the action okay it is said in telugu karma not karma karma so subject karta verb kriya object karma this is the order of sentence structure subject verb objects and then what about voice the voice of a verb tells whether the subject of the sentence performs or receives the action voice is here a judge it decides it observes the subject the voice observes the subject whether it performs the action or receive the action that's all voice and the aim is not ఇచ్చిన వాక్యంలో సబ్జెక్ట్ అనేది పని చేస్తుందా పని ఫలితాన్ని అనుభవిస్తుందా అని చెప్పేదే వాయిస్ వాయిస్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ విచ్ టెన్స్ వెదర్ ద సబ్జెక్ట్ పర్ఫార్మ్స్ ఆర్ రిసీవ్స్ ద యాక్షన్ ఒక వాక్యంలో సబ్జెక్ట్ ఏదైతే ఉందో అది పని చేస్తుందా లేదా దాని రిజల్ట్ ని స్వీకరిస్తుందా అంటే ఒక వా ఒక సెంటెన్స్ లో సబ్జెక్ట్ అనేది యాక్టివ్ గా ఉంటుందా యాక్టివ్ గా ఉండడం అంటే పని చేయడం ప్యాసివ్ గా ఉంటుందా అంటే పని ఫలితాన్ని తీసుకోవడం రిసీవింగ్ ద రిజల్ట్ జస్ట్ అబ్జర్వ్ దీస్ టూ సెంటెన్సెస్ బాలు సింగ్స్ సాంగ్స్ హియ బాలు ఈజ్ ఎ సబ్జెక్ట్ బికాస్ he is doing the action he is singing songs he is doing some work sings is a verb base form of the verb and songs subject verb object in this sentence subject verb object and next to a sentence observe songs are sung by balu songs are sung by balu here 
the object in the first sentence is changed as subject in the second sentence and extra or and by added and sung the third form of the sing sing sang sung and the subject in the first sentence is changed as object in the second sentence and here observe the voice of those two sentences in the first sentence subject is active but in the second sentence the subject is receiving the action not performing the action okay in this sentence the object is performing action so dear students if you observe these two sentences if you understand these two sentences well active passive is very easy so concentrate carefully in the first sentence subject is doing the action but in the second sentence subject is receiving the result of the action so when the subject performs the action it is called active voice and when the object subject receives the action that is called passive voice okay types of voice active voice the subject performs the action expressed by the verb yes the action which is expressed by the verb is performed by subject in the previous example you have followed that the subject is performing the action the subject is doing the work and the action is directly expressed the verb is active the focus is on the doer of the action yes in the first sentence where is the focus of the writer the focus of the writer is on the doer of the action akkada active voice lo modati sentence lo mana focus anta deni meeda undi doer in the sentence subject is the hero doer is the hero so active voice is needed there and uh, sir why it is two voices in the language it is very difficult to understand you may feel what is the use of a passive voice if we write all the sentences in the active voice anni active voice sentence lo rasta ayipothundi kada passive voice enduku sir yes that we will see the next slide the active voice is needed when more clarity and straight forward relation is required between verb and subject if we know the three active uh, subject verb objective and uh, if the more clarity is needed and uh, if we want to say straight forward active voice is needed but why passive voice in the passive voice the subject receives the action expressed by the verb yes in the second sentence the songs are sung by balu songs are sung by balu in this sentence subject receives the action and the verb is very passive not active and the subject is the receiver of the action already repeated many times in this sentence and why is it used in the language when the action is more important than the subject dear students we use passive voice when the action is given more important uh, than the subject pani chesina odu evado telise danikante kuda pani e important aithe evadanna cheyani pani but the action is more important than the doer when we use the passive or when the doer is unknown or unimportant leda if the subject is unknown we don't know whether who did the action who performed the action 
or uh, the doer is an unimportant thing manaka subject evado telidu aa pani chesinodu evado telidu ledha vaadu pedda important kuda kaadu atlanti sandarbhallo we use passive voice for example my purse has been stolen i don't know evaru dongilincharu naaku telidu then what is the subject in this sentence what to write don't know so in these cases my purse has been stolen just like these cases we can use passive voice atlanti case lallo atlanti sandarbhalla lopala mana passive voice anedi vaadali subject manaku telinappudu subject pedda important ga anappudu rendu sandarbhalla lopala we have to use passive voice next yes then how to convert a sentence from active voice here av means active voice pv means passive voice what rules have to be followed when we convert a sentence from a av to pv okay to know the rules just uh, observe one more example sachin scored century this is sentence in active voice because here the subject is performing the action sachin scored who scored sachin scored and what is the result receive century em gottadu century gottadu em action chesadu score gottadu sadhinchadu then sachin is the subject scored is v verb century is an object and this is in active voice and uh, next uh, century was scored by sachin dear students observe the colors of the words also okay century was scored by sachin if you observe keenly those two sentences you can trace out the rules you can find out uh, the rules to convert uh, a sentence from av to pv yes first of all you have to identify the subject the verb and the object in the given active voice sentence already done we have done such is the subject and the verb is scored and the object is century it is in svo format this is the first step to convert a sentence into passive voice okay identification of the svo next what is the second step change the object into subject yes sachin red color scored blue color century black color subject is red color verb blue color and century object black color so here the second step is we have to change the object in the active voice into subject in the passive voice active voice lo object ga unnatuvanti padanni passive voice lo subject ga chesina this is the first rule to follow okay that is the first we have identified then we have to change the object into subject okay next third one put the suitable helping verb or auxiliary verb then in the passive voice it is more important to, to write a, a helping verb according to the subject and tense also this is more important by the students when we convert a sentence uh, from av to pv there should not be any change in the tense and number mana active voice lo nunchi passive voice lo ki marche tappudu 
దాని టెన్స్ లో గానీ నంబర్ లో గానీ ఏ రకమైన తేడాలు లేకుండా ఇచ్చిన సెంటెన్స్ ఏ టెన్స్ లో ఉంటుందో అదే టెన్స్ లోకి అదే నంబర్ నంబర్ మీన్స్ సింగ్యులర్ ప్యూరల్ ఓకే మార్చాలి సో వి హ్యావ్ టు పిక్ a suitable appropriate helping verb it must agree with the subject in tense and number and also person sometimes okay so here the given active as sentence is in v2 means simple past tense so we have to choose was here because it is in past tense and uh, uh, the subject is singular if the subject is plural we can choose were centuries were if the subject is centuries we have to choose were centuries were scored but here century singular so that is where suitable helping verb okay suitable helping verb and third blue color change uh, change the verb into past participle of the verb here past participle means v3 and dear students remember one thing the verb in the passive voice is always should be in v3 form passive voice lo verb eppudaina v3 lone untundi past participle form so scored score scored scored so okay we converted that into v3 form and the fifth rule at the preposition by yes the verb must be followed by by phrase after the verb we have to add a preposition by it is compulsory it is the sign of the passive voice okay next the last one change the subject into object okay and uh, the subject in the active voice should be changed as object in the passive voice active voice lo subject ga unnatvanti danni passive voice lo manam object ga rastam this is the last rule this is the last rule okay dear students you have to follow these six rules while converting a sentence from a active voice to passive voice next yes and one more important thing my dear students observe previous slide sachin scored century if not sachin in the place of sachin i want to write a pronoun i scored century i scored a century then uh, how do you convert this one into passive voice century was scored by by how do you convert uh, that i into passive voice i ni passive voice lo kela chestavu active voice lo in the active voice the subject is i then how do you write that i in the passive voice if you write i that is a blunder so the i must be converted as me the pronoun must be changed as me okay yes let us see the pronouns how the pronouns are changed in the passive voice i if there is an i in the active voice it must be changed as me we as you remain same you he him she her it it they them who by who okay next now let us see structures in the passive voice what are the structures 
in the passivized when we converted AV to PV. Yes, here it is presented in a uh, table format, tense wise. We have 12 tenses already, you know, but uh, there are no passivized to four tenses. Okay, no passivizes to four tenses. Okay, what are the letters C? Simple present. The actual structure of simple present tense, that means the activized structure is subject plus V1 plus object. And when we convert this one into a passivize, the students, this table is very important and uh, if possible, uh, write uh, into your notebooks or uh, take a screenshot. Yes, subject plus here suitable uh, helping verb and is or if the subject is singular, am or is or if the subject is plural or and plus V3 plus by plus object. Okay, next, present continuous tense. The actual structure, uh, activized structure, subject, plus am, as, sorry, am, is, are, plus v4, plus object. v4 means simple form. And uh, whereas in passivized subject, again, am or is or are am is or plus being plus being and the verb is always third form in passivize plus by the verb should be followed by by plus o objects okay and uh, uh, in the present perfect tense subjects plus have or has plus v3 plus object. In the present perfect tense, the subject should be v3. Okay, have or has. And whereas in passivize, subject plus have or has plus being and plus v3 plus by plus object. Plus object. Okay. Next, the structure of simple past tense in activize subject plus verb second form plus object. And when we convert it into passivize, the structure will be subject plus was or were plus v3 plus by plus object. And uh, for past continuous tense, subject plus was or were plus v4 plus object. And uh, whereas in passivize, subject plus was or were plus being plus v3 plus by plus object. And observe my dear students, being is used in both of the uh, continuous tenses, present continuous tense and past continuous tense. And uh, uh, come to past perfect tense, subject plus had plus v3 plus object. And in passivize, subject plus had plus being plus v3 plus by plus object. And in simple future tense, subject will or shall plus v1 plus objects. And in passivize, subject plus will or shall plus b here b plus v3 plus by plus object. And uh, uh, for future perfect tense, Subject plus will or shall plus have plus v3 plus objects. Okay, and uh, 
in a passivize subjects plus will or shall plus have plus be plus v3 plus by plus o very lengthy structure okay these are, are the structures in the passivize for yait tenses and dear students there is no passivize for present perfect continuous tense and a, a past perfect continuous tense future continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense okay remaining yait tenses have these structures next let us see some examples uh, tense wise simple present tense birds build nests subject verb b1 object in the passive wise nests are the suitable helping verb here nests plural and it is simple present tense just uh, uh, observe the structure and uh, uh, see this one nests are built by birds okay uh, present continuous tense you are collecting flowers okay flowers are being collected by you next present perfect tense he has drunk coffee okay Co sorry here a typing mistake coffee has been drunk by him okay drink drank drunk coffee has been drunk by him and now simple past tense krishna killed kamsa okay here v2 kamsa was killed by krishna okay next shiva was writing a novel okay a novel was being written by shiva if here instead of a novel novels have to write a novels were being written by shiva okay well ikkada novels unte novels were being written by shiva next past perfect tense they had watched a movie okay a movie had been watched by them next simple future tense we shall buy a car a car will be bought by us okay will be bought by us next future perfect tense she will have cancelled the deal the deal will have been cancelled by her okay these are the examples uh, uh, tense wise